it's me, Michelle, here from Jamba Drama again. I hope you're all keeping well. It's difficult to stay inside, isn't it? We all have to do it. But you know what? We can keep creative. We can do some drawing. We can do some writing. We can play games. We can tell stories. We can use our imagination to go anywhere in the world. It's an incredible thing, you know. But over the next few minutes, hopefully we can have some fun. We can see Jamba's in. And maybe we can tell a story. Are you ready? So let's get focused. Let's start warming up for our story. Let's rub our hands. Give them a good old rub. Oh, well done. Excellent. And let's do the backs of our hands. Oh, you're so good. Well done. Let's go in between our fingers. Excellent. Let's wiggle our fingers out. Stretch your arms long. Keep wiggling. Well done. And let's flick the raindrops off our fingers. Get ourselves all warmed up. Well done. Excellent. And give your hands a shake. Excellent. Well done. Rub your shoulders. Rub your elbows. Rub your knees. Tap your knees. Tap your belly. Tap your chest. Tap your cheeks. Tap your head. Say, wake up, head. Let's turn our brains on. Are you ready? One, two, three, ding dong. Excellent. I think we're all switched on. Shall we see if Jamba's gonna come out? Jamba is my friend. He's a little rabbit. He's really sweet, but he's very, very shy. He's in that box. Let me see if he's gonna come out today. I'll have a look who's in first. <gasps> He's not coming out. I know, if you say really, really quietly, don't be shy, Jamba, he might just come out. Shall we do it? After three. One, two, three. Don't be shy, Jamba. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. He's not out. I know, sitting up tall this time with our really big voices, Let's say, don't be shy, Jamba. Are you ready? After three, one, two, three. Don't be shy, Jamba! Oh! <laughs> it's Jamba. Hello. Don't be shy. He's all right. There's nothing to be frightened of. Jamba, you're being silly. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on, you're being silly. Say hello. Oh, he's being very silly always like this when he meets new people. It's nice to see new people. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's saying, have you washed your hands? Jamba, very cheeky. Have you washed your hands? Good. Oh, what? Oh, he's saying, are you friendly? Are you friendly? Oh, yes. Yes, they are friendly, Jamba. Now, come on, you're being very, very silly. Have a little look. Come on, have a look. <laughs> yes, see, they're very friendly. Okay, don't go too close, okay. You're gonna scare everybody. <laughs> okay, all right, you can see how friendly they are now, can't you? Yes, of course you can. Well, you know what? Jamba loves something more than anything in the world. Could you guess what it is? Chocolate? Oh, yes, Jamba does love chocolate. Don't you, Jamba? Yeah. What? Sweets? Oh, yes, he does love sweets, but I try not to give him too many sweets. Isn't that correct? <laughs> Shall I tell you? Jamba loves stories. <laughs> Yes, you do, don't you? Jamba loves stories more than anything in the whole wide world. Do you love stories? While Jamba is listening to the story, he's going to have a little lie down. He's going to go into the box and then I can tell you the story. Our story today is a little story that I've written. I hope you enjoy it. It's called Hop Loves Vegetables. I've got a little helper. All will be revealed very soon. Our story is going to start after three. 
Will you help me count? One, two, three. In a garden near here, there's a man who plants vegetables every year. He plants potatoes, carrots, peas and cabbages. The man's name is Grandpa. In Grandpa's plot, there is a tiny little rabbit called Hop. Can you see him? That's Hop. Hello. Hop loves vegetables. <laughs> he loves potatoes, carrots, peas and cabbages. <laughs> Each night Hop would pop out and he would munch and crunch to his heart's delight. One morning Grandpa came out and he saw that half of his plot had all been eaten. All the vegetables had gone. Oh bother, said Grandpa. He waited up that night to see who or what was eating his vegetables. He waited. And he waited. And he waited a bit more until all of a sudden out popped Hop. Hop munched and crunched to his heart's delight. Grandpa shouted out, who goes there? Is it a fox? Is it a hare? Hop shook and shaked with all of his might and he stayed inside that cabbage leaf all of the night. The next morning when Grandpa woke up he saw that a quarter of his vegetable patch had all been eaten. Oh bother, said Grandpa. And that night he waited again to see who or what was eating his vegetables. He waited. And he waited. And he waited a bit more. Until all of a sudden out popped Hop. Hop munched and he crunched to his heart's delight. Who goes there? Is it a fox? Is it a hare? Hop shook and he shaked with all of his might and he stayed inside that cabbage leaf all of the night. The next morning when Grandpa woke up he saw that another quarter of his vegetable patch had all been eaten. Oh bother, said Grandpa. And that night he decided was going to be the night that he would catch who or what had eaten his vegetables. He waited. And he waited. And he waited a bit more. Until all of a sudden out popped Hop. <gasps> He munched and he crunched to his heart's delight. Grandpa threw a net and gave Hop such a fright. It wasn't a fox. It wasn't a hare. It was just a tiny little rabbit, just wanting to share. Grandpa looked at Hop and Hop looked at Grandpa. Grandpa took pity and in the mud he drew a line. He said, this half is yours and this half is mine. He planted more seeds and he watered them and he nurtured them. And in time, everything grew. Grandpa and Hop shed the vegetables as well they should and all in the garden was good. The end. I hope you enjoyed our session today. I had lots of fun telling you that story. Keep being creative, keep exploring, keep expressing, keep exciting your imagination. <laughs> <laughs>